So as the weather begins to change and it gets a little bit colder outside, our skin really begins to feel the effects. But Caroline Hiron says there are some small swaps you can make to your skin care routine that will help. And she's here now. Morning. Good morning. No, Good are we morning. afternoon? Afternoon. Afternoon. We uh, just. Yeah, just six minutes. Just, just. Yeah, well, the weather's turned a little bit. Yeah. So, just a few simple things, but a lot of people have sort of been messaging me saying my skin feels a bit red or it feels mm. drier or it feels tighter. So, just a couple of things you might want to swap out. I'm not okay. suggesting you go shopping and buy everything, but you might find something you think, oh, actually, that sounds like what I need. Yeah. Eye makeup remover. Switch from something that's sort of a, I would say, a foaming gel. Consider oh. something like the Body Shop. Chamomile, Dissolve the Day. This is a fairly new one to the Body Shop's Chamomile collection, but literally a few drops in your hand, like this, all over the face, mm. just destroys makeup and SPF, yeah. but also gentle on the skin. You can either emulsify it, so basically you add water, it turns into a milk and rinses away, or you take it off with a flannel. Nice, that's simple and nice easy. Nice and simple. And then mm. if your skin is feeling a bit tight, but you just want a normal skin cleanser as opposed to a makeup remover, uh, Paula's Choice Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser, get the name right, um, mm. is another, another option, but obviously it's not as oily. It's an emulsion base, it's a cream. So, look Who's at Paula? this. Paula? Paula's Choice. Paula... Paula Burgoyne. 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 It's on Chernobyl. The doyenne of the industry. Is she? <laughs> but so this is, um, and this is, it's still quite creamy, isn't it? Yes. So quite rich. But not, not sticky, not, you know, not cloying. Not but we'll dry. Get, no, we'll get all your makeup off, but you can also use it in the morning to wash your face, whereas this one you obviously wouldn't. It's more of a it's eye more of an remover. Evening. Yep. Okay, good. Simple swap in if you're someone who just likes to just get up and go wash your face, use moisturiser, SPF, something basic but your skin is feeling dry and tight. A little bit of a hyaluronic acid boost. So this mm. is from La Roche-Posay. We talk about this brand a lot. Widely available, pharmacies. Um, this one you're going to put under your moisturiser. So after you've cleansed, literally... Comes out a bit, like, a bit snotty. <laughs> bit <laughs> snotty. Not sure well, that anyone that a little marketing bit snotty. Strap, but, you know, it does stop you. The bonus is it stops it from going all over the place when you apply it. But also, if you look at how it applies, it completely disappears, disappears oh, it's not nice. and it's not sticky. Generally, wait, I know you're that face. You're going to go sticky. If it's sticky, it's sticky, you've used too much. It's sticky. If it's sticky, you've used too much. <laughs> One day, I'm going to get you Slow in a chair down. and I'm going to do your face with the right amount of skincare. I've and got, then you'll I've know got, that nothing is sticky I, like I've that. got... Um, no, Susie, who does my, my makeup, is amazing on my, on my face. She's got all sorts of lovely she things. Is. It's just I'm not brilliant with my, you know, with stuff and. on my hands. And I like hyaluronic After a gin. Not instead of. But this is a little stickier than normal. I think you just used too much. Maybe I did. I'm going to stand my ground, Mr Schofield. I think you just used a bit too much. Now, if redness is an issue, so... Lots of people who go out running, I only run if I'm being chased by a bear, frankly, but if you go out <laughs> running and you get sort of the red cheeks, I'm just a tip bit of information. Red cheeks Where the or hell sore, do you live? Windburn. <laughs> this is a problem in the outskirts of Russia. Um, <laughs> just flew in for the morning. So what a commute oh, you've got. Descended. There we go. OK. But if you are, uh, if, you're, if your face feels red or sore, or feel sensitive. A lot of people have messaged saying how they're starting to get like the little bit of stress eczema around the eyes. Mm. Render a range called Evercalm that we have shown before, but this serum in particular is nice and light. Try some on an opposite hand, please. Oh, Philip, thank you very much. Not the same hand. Oh. <laughs> and it's really, really That's light. Awesome. But this is designed, think of this as a fire extinguisher. So you use this if your skin is feeling a flame and you're just like, ow, everything is ow. You would put this on and it just soothes the skin and Calms takes it down, down the heat. It smells yeah. nice as well. Not sticky? No, well, it's not too bad. No, not it's fine. That's fine. Marvellous. Moving safely on then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, I love an eye cream. AHC, this is one of the sort of hero eye creams, if you like. Uh, real eye cream for face. So, first of all, I love that it tells you what it does on the box. It's also twice the size of a normal eye cream. So, when I'm travelling, you know, 25 years ago when we were allowed to, you literally can do your eyes, but you can take all of the excess or just use a bit more and put it all over your face. Oh, oh so it's eye and face? Eye and face. Ah. Oh. Yeah. So you would literally, if I'm on, you know, I would go around the eye, I always go around the lip and then all over your face and then don't forget to put the... Remember, we've discussed this before, neck yeah. and elbows. Clever. Get rid of the rest. Totally but clever. really, really um, gentle and soothing. You know, it's, it's rich, but it's not thick and sticky, to your mm. point. Yeah. No one wants that, because you want to put your makeup on and you want your makeup to feel smooth. You don't want your makeup to be like, oh, God, I can see all the crevices. Yeah, yeah. Don't want that. 
Now, three options oh, in terms of moisturiser. This one you're going to find is too rich. I'm just going to put that out there for you, Mr Schofield, because it's designed to be for people who have a sore face or sore parts of the body because it's dry. But if you have a look at this, Comfort Ceramide Cream from Cosrx. Now, talk about wide ranging. They also do the spot stickers we, we mentioned last time. Oh, yeah. So, now, if you see this on my hand, it's not moving anywhere because it's, it's much thicker. It absorbs beautifully. So, if you have dry patches anywhere, if you find that you're getting eczema flaring up, um, designed to repair your barrier. So, if you've got, you know, if, if, you know, if you're chapped, if you have chapped mm. lips, but it feels like it's kind of around the mouth, on the face, mm. that's... So you put it on your lips as well? You can put it anywhere you like. Body, face, lips, like literally anywhere where it feels dry mm. or it's cracked or it's chapped. Mm. And very rich, but actually not oily. Not I oily and not sticky. Yeah. In my mind, not sticky. No, I don't think so. How's your lips? <laughs> sticky? <laughs> glue? <laughs> oh, sorry, that was super glue. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, where this is comfort, this is comfort, but also with a massive scientific kick. So this is Oskia, brilliant name, Rest Day Comfort Cream. Originally designed to be used sort of for people who use a lot of uh, uh, stronger actives in the evening, yeah. so like retinoids, that kind of thing. And it does cause your skin some, well, it gives you a reaction it's supposed to. So it's turning, sort of cell turnover and you're going to go red yeah. and flaky. So this is designed for that. But this has like 10 amino acids. This is, this is a comfort blanket. This is a comfort blanket with food. Well, this is, a, this is a barrier support for your microbiome. Literally. And Oskia, if Oskia say it, but look how not sticky it is. If Oskia say it, you believe it. They are a brilliant brand. This... I definitely don't want a sticky biome, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants a sticky biome. Um, but this that is a beautiful nice. cream. So if you've done anything to your skin and you think, oh, this was my fault, then Oskia is the way to go. And then a fail-safe... Squalane oil, huge supersized bottle from Biosense. This can be used Ooh. face, hair, nails, body, oh. wherever you like. You can just keep one in the cupboard. Now you're going to be sticky because you've got too much. Be sticky. But you know, Germany's. you're unsure. And of course, when you're doing this, if you are doing your hair, if you're doing a ponytail <gasps> especially, like you've just done, <laughs> white, give white, Phil white, a flannel. White. Give there, Phil there, a flannel. There, there, it's there, an grab... oil. Don't do that face. That's it's an very, oil. That's very oily, isn't it? Okay. It's literally 100% oil. What's squalene? Oil. Derived from olive or sugar, depending on which one it is. Is it? OK. So you're all good. It's all yeah. nice and sustainably sourced and lovely. Very you're going to have beautifully soft hands. Yeah, they do feel nice. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>